So here's a quick video to um, demonstrate this auto date button that I've created. So there you go. That's the today's date, 26th of October 2017. Um, what's so exciting about that? Well, if you're a teacher like me, you want to have a date that updates every time you open it. So that's one less thing to remember when you're teaching your lesson. So let's demonstrate that working, right? So let's pretend that um, I last opened my this presentation a couple of days ago on the 21st, and um, I don't want it looking like this. So I want it to imagine like I've got a default look that I particularly like, right? But uh, imagine you don't want it to look like that and you don't want it to be in that position, whatever. You can do whatever you want to, right? So that was, imagine, the 21st. To Imagine today is suddenly the 21st. We've gone back in time and then I close it and then I go back to my Google Drive and open it up again on the 26th. So today is actually the 26th and it updates and it keeps the format which means basically when you create the default button the sorry the default auto date um you can change its look and it will keep that look basically you can make it look how you want it to fit your presentation so yeah pretty excited about that bit of code um that I've written and you can uh, make a copy of that uh, by going to the link in the description of this video which will basically go to this page which will basically talk about it give you the video give you the code and the google slide so you can copy it if you don't want to um, do any coding so let's talk about the coding because um, i've learned a few things as i coded this how do we code it? We go to tools, we go to script editor, and if you were coding it and you wanted to change it, you would just basically copy paste the code uh, on the page I just showed you and put it here. Now, how does the code work? Well, basically there's an on open function, which is a special name for um, dealing with situations when uh, or the situation when the Google slide or whatever is just open. So it's a special name uh, that Google Apps Script looks for if you want to uh, do a behavior that runs when the Google slide is open. So my one creates a menu, like you can see here, date button is called. And after you clicked on date button, you get a sub menu called make date. So let's go back again. Sub menu make date, and when you click make date, it will update uh, uh, the auto date. No, no, sorry, it will create the auto date. So, um, so there you go. So it will do create date. So there's create date. Uh, the whole function is uh, pretty long, and I'll talk about why it's so long. Um, but if the date already exists, it will update the date with today's date in this particular format that I've chosen. Um, hmm, what else is there to say? Oh yeah, so uh, I've made it, um, this code specific to my needs. You can, of course, if you're into coding, make it you know the default according to your needs so different date setting or something anyway um but why uh i like to explain why have we got two different what well, one really short way of dealing with a date and one really long way of creating dates and whatever and the reason is that um well first of all i'd like to categorize uh, the two ways uh besides long and short. This is through method calls and this is through the JSON method uh, or format I should say JSON. You might know that term already. Um, the reason why I'm going for the long-winded way of creating the date object or element within my Google Slides presentation is that 
um, there is a limitation to the method call system in that it does not allow you to set the object ID. Sorry, the element ID, I should say, whatever, who cares? Um, which is kind of the same thing. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so there's a limitation, so I had to go about choosing the element ID uh, or creating, uh, so setting, I should say, the element ID through this JSON method. Why do I need the element ID or a fixed ID rather than a random ID, which is created if you do it this way? Um, because you want to be able to refer to it. I, like in this method, I search for the object ID, which I've called Bobalicious. Uh, it's a random crazy name I've made up, right? Um, no particular meaning to it. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Of course, you, if you're into coding, can um, make it more flexible. Uh, for example, by making it so it doesn't only open on the first slide like I've done here and over there. Hope that was useful. I'll give you, as I said, the link to everything you need up in the description below and ask any questions if you have any.